Hi, I'm Jared Younger. I'm director of the Neuroinflammation Pain and Fatigue Laboratory at UAB, and this is continuing our series of short videos where we're talking about the laboratory projects and the interesting new findings we're coming up with. So today I want to talk about a project we're running right now in the summer of 2017 to try to develop an objective test for fibromyalgia. You can imagine why that would be important to do. If we can have something observable where you can see the pathology, where you can show it to other people and say, he, right here, this is the problem, that will allow us to develop treatments that target the problem and that can be specific for fibromyalgia so we can improve the lives of people with fibromyalgia. So how are we going to go about doing that? So if you've been following our laboratory, you know that our general hypothesis is that if you have fibromyalgia, you have a condition where your immune cells are basically hypersensitive. So they're reacting to day-to-day -day triggers that would not normally activate the immune system. But if you have fibromyalgia, those triggers are causing the immune system to activate, and those immune cells produce chemicals that make you feel sick, like you have the flu, even though you don't have an infection. So the way we're going to test that is with an interesting molecule called lipipolysaccharide. It's also called endotoxin. I'm just going to abbreviate that LPS for short. So LPS is typically found on the outside of bacteria. It's a string of sugars and fats. So our immune system has learned to detect LPS, and it's learned if it sees LPS, that means there's a bacterial infection, and that causes the immune system to activate. So a lot of immune cells have a receptor called toll-like receptor 4 that can detect LPS. So it is supposed to mean there's an infection. Now the interesting thing is that the National Institutes of Health and the FDA for decades now has been able to separate LPS from bacteria. Now that allows us to give LPS to humans without giving any bacteria. So that's essentially tricking temporarily tricking the immune system into thinking there's an infection. That allows us to monitor the immune response in a person without worrying about any kind of infection. So it's a good uh, tool to use in research. So what we're doing in this study that's occurring this summer is we're giving a very low dose of LPS. So I believe it's lower than any human study done, certainly lower than any human study I've done. So we want to give a dose that's so low that it will not make people feel sick. We just want to look at the immune response. We want to see if people with fibromyalgia have a hyperactive immune response to the very, very low trigger that would not normally cause an immune response. So we're going to run a group of people with fibromyalgia, we're running a group of people without fibromyalgia, and we're going to compare the immune responses. So uh, people who are participating in the study come into UAB, it's in the hospital, you get your own room, you're infused with the LPS in the morning, and then we monitor the response throughout the day. And it happens over two different sessions. And we're going to compare the two groups at the end and see what the differences in the immune responses were. So if you're watching this in May, June, or July of 2017, especially if you have fibromyalgia and you're interested in participating, I'm going to put some information in the description below where you can see where you can email or call in in order to participate. For everyone else, like I said, we're going to be done with this study by August of 2017. We'll run our test real quick and hopefully we'll have some results available in the fall. So that's it, and we'll get information to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.